Hey everybody, it's Chris here with PSN Stores, and I'm going to make a little video today showing you how to create a Japanese PlayStation account from your PS4, and also navigating the, the store that is there on the Japanese side of things. So first thing you do is new user, create a user, accept. After that you go to next, and you will say new to PSN, create an account. From here everything else will be in Japanese after we change the language over, so I'll try to walk through things a little bit here so you can understand what's going on. So first thing we're going to do is enter Japan for our region, which will switch everything into Japanese. So the first column is your language, the next one is the display language, which will only be Japanese. And the next is your birthday. Uh, try to make it your real birthday in case you have to reset the account, because usually you have to end up putting your birthday in somewhere to figure that out. So I'll put my real birthday in. The first column is the year, second is the month, and the final one is the day. You're good. Get a little check mark saying you're good to go next. From here you have to enter a Japanese postal code. I usually stick to Okinawa, which is a nine and six zeros. Let me uh, make sure that's right, six zeros. And then Okinawa is usually the last one on the list here. And then you can just type it whenever you want here for the street address. Just do it, foo foo. And we'll do next. So the next thing is going to be your email address. I made one called Japan, Japan Test, but you can make it whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to change the password on this after I make it, so don't try anything funny. So let's do Japan Test piece on stores.com. Cool. Uh, next is your password. It has to be eight characters long. And it looks like you can switch between, it looks like it's only English, so we'll just make it something super easy to remember, like QWERTY. Uh, one, six, seven, eight. Oh, unacceptable. Darn. Let's include a number. One QWERTY. That's not eight characters. I'm really dumb right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aha! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the next one. Uh, new games. Uh, da, da, sure. It's not like I'm ever going to check that email anyway. Next is your PSN ID. Oh, what am I going to make this? Let's see. Um. Japan. Rocks. Four twenty. <laughs> nice. That's allowed. Uh, next is your uh, a name. I'm just gonna put C and another name. It says Romaji. Uh, let's do M. Sure. Japan Rocks four twenty. I only want them to see Japan Rocks four twenty. So uh, this is where you say if they want to use your real name or not. A uh, check mark lets you use your real name. Unchecked makes it use your PSN ID. We're using our PSN ID. Next is like profile settings. Uh, I don't think you're actually going to care about this. We'll just make it so it's like everyone, your friends, friends, your friends only, and then no one. We'll make this a no one. No one can see my trophies or my videos. So the first one is video profile stuff. The next one's trophies you earn. And uh, terms of service. So we'll want to pick the second option here to continue. Loading, loading, loading. Uh, do we want to link a Facebook? No. So we'll hit the button on the left here. And I think we're almost done making our account. Please wait. So yeah, welcome to the world of PlayStation. Now do I want PlayStation Plus? Um, I will skip it. So the option to skip here is on the right. And do I want to make this my primary PS4? Sure. That was in English, that's easy. Your PSN info has been saved, cool. Do I want to do face data? No. Welcome to PS4. So now that I'm signed in, I will have access to the Japanese PlayStation Store. So everything on your menu here is still in English. It's not gonna be hard to get there. It's just once you actually get to the store is when things will get a little confusing if you can't read Japanese. 
so it's connecting and uh, stuff is live on the Japanese PlayStation Store if you were wondering uh, even though the system's not out yet they did put some stuff up before that so you might be familiar to this the first one is the PS4 campaign uh, looks like they're giving a little a thousand yen away some other stuff uh, if you're familiar with the welcome screen uh, PlayStation Plus offerings uh, if you go to the right here you can go to see all the games they offer and stuff like that uh, starter pack for Warframe that's kind of cool those were trials, I believe, for the other stuff. And then here, so here's your breakdown. Stuff you're going to want to know. So we have games, videos, music. Uh, videos and music is usually region locked to Japan only, so I don't know if it's actually going to work. But we'll go to the game section so you can understand that. So the first is the game top. The first is like recommended things. Um, then there's the new content, which is the one you'll probably use the most if you're just trying to download stuff from the store, stuff like that. This looks like disc only. Disuku Adi. Uh, download games. And then we got some other stuff here. I think this one is Indies. Indies. And then this is like the game search, I believe. Or all of them, I believe. Like everything. Uh, then there's add on content, uh, demos. Uh, games by title, games by creator. So let's hop into the new category though so you can understand that a little bit. So this is the new releases for the week. The first column is always games. The second is always add-ons. And the final one is the newest demos. So once you're in here, you'll want to go all the way to the right. Like usually, click on the little... Click on the, the controller icon. It'll bring up all the games for the week. So uh, you can sort things. Uh, so it's a uh, genre. It is a game, like type, I guess. It says game category, so category. Uh, price range and then content category. So most likely uh, you will just be looking here. So will have like, I think it's like the past two weeks or so of releases. They'll have everything there. These are just the games again. Um, once again, after that, there is the add-ons, which probably won't be too interested in, as you're probably just going to want to get games and you want to get demos. So here's all the add-ons for everything they have on the store. And then finally here we have uh, the new demos. So, like, Yakuza Ishin is here. There's a, I think there's a Final Fantasy beta, but that's out on the U.S. store now. There's a Motemo E. Uh, it looks like Shogi. Or Mahjong. Shogi or Mahjong, I don't remember what that character is, it might be Mahjong. And there's a FIFA demo, it looks like. Uh, you can also find demos for games through the, the game itself. So if we go to, uh, let's go to, say, uh, Strider. Let's find Strider here. Oh, the Deep Down. Has it been added yet? No. So if we find Strider, uh, I don't know where the hell it went. It used to be up here because I downloaded the demo myself. So uh, let's bust out the search then. Let's see if she can show you that. Uh, search is at the top there. Usually you have to search by katakana or hiragana. Oh, I know. They let you just type it in. There used to be a way to switch between uh, the keyboards. Like you used to be able to enter Japanese keyboard stuff. I don't see a way to do that right now. Um, only English keyboard that might not be helpful for people trying to search for Japanese stuff so there we go we learned something at least <laughs> and so that's about it for the Japanese store maybe it used to be select would switch between the keyboards maybe yeah, the options button does that now obviously the share button wouldn't do it uh, touch the touchpad no hmm so it doesn't seem to be way to input Japanese right now I guess it's context sensitive based on your region so that's about it for the Japanese store. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments for the video here, and I'll be sure to happily answer them for you. Uh, right now, there isn't too much different between the two stores. I guess the, the biggest difference would be that Yakuza demo. Download that. It's probably pretty hard to decipher, though, as uh, most of the Yakuza games are pretty in-depth in their Japanese knowledge that you'll need to play them. But yeah, that's the Japanese store. Um, Pretty cool, right? So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know how much coverage we're going to be giving to Japanese stuff here because it doesn't look like there's too much on the store, but 
I'm sure they'll get some weird stuff every once in a while that we'll want to check out. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching and visit PSNStores.com for anything PlayStation Network. Bye.